Hello again everyone, this will be the third game between our face and always doing hardcore damage. So th they are currently 1-1 in this series in the loser's bracket, and this one will decide who comes third in the tournament. Alright, so Ovio was running their double writ assassin build, so they're running spear writs. Sorry, not spear writs, dagger writs. And two Gus Ellies with some cover enchantments and Gus and Gale. And it looks like they also had three shield guardians, one of them on one of the Ellies. And on the other team, ADHD are running two Hammer Warriors, two Rangers, and Daily. So they're running the same kind of build. They're running Shatterstorm this time, Shatterstone rather, on their Ellie rather than Icy Shackles. So they have a bit more damage. Bit less snare ability. They are still running blurred, so blurred will be nice against these rid assassins. Except they are lacking a lot of snares that they would have had in previous games. Their enchant removal is rip enchantment on the Ellie, and ren enchantments on TJ, the burning arrow ranger, who is breakthrough. So they will be able to remove some of the uh, enchantments on the rid assassins, but not too many of them since. Rend is on a 20 second recharge, and it's the only reliable removal. And it's also very easy to erupt. So TJ is going to go for these front footmen at the start, which is going to mean they have basically nothing to remove the spirit strength of these ritual assassins. Also, the number 8 of ADHD is in their base. So ADHD is on the run right now. They've got two guys in their base, two guys in the middle. Their main team is going to blow up very quickly. The uh, Glyphor and Newell is from Godly, so he has double shatters when he wants them. Just insane damage coming out from OVO. There they go. Return the flag and kill Math. That's the Water Ellie, which is their only defense other than the Rend. Promonk going low. Oh, you see how much Spirit Bond healed there. Nice Spirit Bond. But ADHD is in big, big trouble. They really ran into a, a fight with a very big disadvantage, a 4v8 basically. They do score a kill though, I missed that, sorry, on Katrina Care, but that doesn't really matter because even if they successfully get a split going, get a bunch of FCs down, they're going to lose the game so quickly a main team that will be very, very bad for them, won't be that successful on split side. They actually, OBO are actually collapsing on them though. Gust misses from Honk, is that a fire staff I saw? I think I saw Honk as a fire stuff. Yeah, it's a fire stuff. Honk, come on, buddy. Alright, willing defense comes out from TJ. Alright, so Mac is dead. Still, the water early, so. ADHD are probably gonna take a lot of damage now in the base. Sorry, I'm gonna flip these around. So they're going to take a lot of damage now after time, probably take some deaths. Yep, there goes one. Probably see the pack try and come out. See how they, how OBO responds to this, maybe with the Gale. Okay, nope, they had a cry on the Mesmer. A Red Sig does go off though. Didn't see who used the Red Sig. But Battle Pog is still going to die anyway, after she gets Red Sig. The version does get D-Shot. Res coming out from Math. Gets off, the math taking a crazy amount of damage in the choke point, goes down very quickly. These root assassins just cutting through ADHD right now. The version gets was that C shot again? And it looks like OVO boosted. Yep. And now there will basically be no defense for ADHD again with math dead for another minute. Alright, trying to aggro these knights. Meanwhile, TJ solo splitting. It's not really gonna help all that much though. Like, you might be able to use his runs at maintain. Now they have absolutely no enchantment removal at maintain. So, nothing for the spirit strength, and they have reduced rups. So, really lacking a ton of defense at maintain. These hammer warriors would normally offer a lot of defense, except the gusts and the blinds and gales and everything is gonna slow them down a lot. And they also don't want to be aligned back in these Red Assassins because the Red Assassins could just turn around and destroy them in a second. There's a nice return. 
Archie goes down though. So the doubles are coming out now with Ranger and Warrior. Gonna be defended by the one monk though. Looks like FedEx is pondering whether to respond to that split or not. Probably doesn't have to in the end. Just because these guys are pushing with no self heals, so they'll die to the NPCs eventually. And bodyguard goes down. Ah, uh, so you got shamed, I think. So these monks are running low on energy. It's up time. And this is looking very grim. Let's see how quickly this warrior is getting taken out by linebacking. So he tries to line back again, but the red assassin just turns around and he's gonna do a lot of damage to him. There's a nice, uh, whatever that's called, blurred vision. Somehow dodged that gust there. Still taking a lot of damage. It's really surprising that ADHD is still staying alive. It's a Great job by the monks to be staying alive through this. Gale comes out, wraps the shield to absorption. Yeah, it's really phenomenal that they're not dead yet. Oh, SOA comes out on the wrong target, unfortunately. Nice guardian from somebody. Okay, Warrior goes down again, that's the pack dead. So the pack must be 45 DP, I think, by now. At least. Goldie's probably getting erupted by this Ranger quite a lot. Dirgen gets erupted there, but it should be up again because he used Glyph of Renewal on it. But probably running a little bit low on energy. Poison gets up for ADHD. Shadow comes out from Godly. And Monk goes down. So while that Monk is gonna base res, uh, if these other Monks don't die right now, which it looks like they might, if they die right now, it's not a big deal because they base resist for energy. But if they don't die, then they're going to be low on energy or dead at the time. So this monk is probably going to be dead at the time. And bad, bad news is now we're going to see this pack to be focused by OBO. And we might see an Aegis is actually banned, so they can't Aegis the pack. So they're going to focus it very hard. There comes the rub on it, so it'll be back in 12 seconds. So 26 seconds, 626. We'll be back up. He shot in the Guardian there. Oh, actually. Sorry. So, OVO is pushing only with one monk. So, the pack should be back up now if it wasn't already erupted. Here it comes. And he gets taken out too quickly. Now, just one monk up with no reses for ADHD. He is running for his life, but he is not going to get away from these very fast Rid Assassins. And he goes down, and that'll begin. But this Rid Assassin build proving to be extremely powerful, especially when you don't see it coming. ADHD running to a 4v8 at the start, getting punished very hard for it very quickly. Taking a death on the Elliot that they couldn't res for like, until he base res and just could never recover. So congrats to OVO, they call out with a win here which puts them in third place in the tournament. Winning the losers bracket. And yep, so congrats to OVO. Better luck next time to ADHD. Thanks for watching. See you next time.